Welcome to your next tutorial on how to build a job site with PHP. In the past tutorial, we installed raw PHP and we saw the default home page. And right now, we're going to set up the database of raw PHP. If you check out the folder that we downloaded, which is the raw PHP folder, you will see that there is a file here. This is raw PHP database SQL. That is what we're going to use. But before then, we need to first create the database so go to your start menu and uh, type warm server that's if you downloaded warm server i downloaded warm server so that's mine so if if you downloaded any other type of server like lamp or zamp you just type zamp and then open it from there so you click on it once it starts then when warm server runs you basically don't see anything except that if you click this little icon by the bottom right here you would notice that um, the icon is green so when it's starting up uh, it changes different colors so you basically wait for it when, until it's green once it's green then we can access the database we're looking for so go to your browser type localhost slash php my admin that is the database management system we're looking for it helps us to uh, manage sql databases so here is it um, to create a new database i'll click, click on database and uh, we type the name what name do we call a uh, new application we're going to call it raw uh, raw i could just call it raw jobs and then click create so it is created then we need to create tables but instead of that we're just going to run the sql that we copied so we we'll click on um, sql then we go to our folder our raw php folder double click to open this and then we select everything copy paste okay i press ctrl c to paste and then i'm gonna hit this icon here the go icon and our database is created so if you get go back to the structure of your raw jobs database you see that it has created um, three tables for us these are the three default tables that comes with raw php so let's look at the users table for instance if you click on the users table you see that it comes with two default users and if you read this these are the users in the database that raw php uh, highlighted for us and if you check out in the database it has um, these two users and they have different roles so if you check on their role they have row id of three and three and one of them is supposed to be the admin to make somebody admin we'll simply change the role i was we'll do it programmatically down the line but here we just we can just change the role to make the person an admin all right so um the next thing we're going to check out is the other the structure of the other table i'm just showing you through what's in the other table this is the roles table our roles table kind of manages our roles and it already has three roles which is the super admin the moderator and the user the common user three roles so if somebody has an a role id of one in our application it means that they are a super admin which means if we get back to the users table john has a role id of one which means john is a super admin jenny has a role id of three which means jenny is in an ordinary user all right so two is a role id of two should make the person a moderator by default all right, these things will become clearer as we um, actually code it out in the uh, further tutorials. The, the last thing we have here is the post table. It's basically a, a sample blog that comes with raw PHP showing you um, how to write different codes for that you will ever need. So there are two posts in our post table, which is one and two, and it just basically has title and body then. Who created it? This is the ID of the user that created it. This is the time and date. So when a user creates um, a post, the ID shows up here. If we get back to our users table, we'll see that each user has an ID, ID of one. John has an ID of one. Jenny has an ID of two. So if Jenny creates a post, the user ID will be two. All right, I hope that um, this kind of explains some things, but you, it will become clearer as we go down the line. Now we have set up our database. We can come to our raw php application and refresh it appears we have an error all right so we need to um, go set up our database 
open your raw php application in any of your editors a good editor that i'm having is um, visual studio code if you don't have it you can download it if you want otherwise you can use the editor that you're using so just say visual studio code download so it's free you just download it and start using it all right so um to open visual studio code to open this folder in visual studio code you just hold your shift key right click and and click on open with with code all right so it opens your application in visual studio code so when your raw php application opens up you see the folder structure what you're looking for is the config folder we'll click on the config folder click on database config we are trying to set up the database remember if you're using raw just um, ordinary php if you're building this site from scratch by yourself you will need to start writing database connection queries and um, it's just it will just take you more time to actually achieve the aim of your project so in this uh raw php has already done that for us for us we just need to enter the the details of our database so right here as you can see our database is local host um even if it's hosted on the server as long as your database sits on the same server as your application it should still be local host you don't need to change this then the database name the database name we had was raw jobs that's a database name as is visible from here raw jobs then the database login is root and the password i'll enter my password after i close this so you should enter the password you used to log into your php my admin if you normally if you didn't set up the password it should just be default it should be empty like this so yours should be probably work exactly like this without entering a password all right so once we have that sorted out make sure that you enter the same details in these two raw jobs the reason it's two is because raw php allows you to have laravel and cake php working exactly in your application if you have other of other um kind of codes you want to write you can add other types of database for instance if you're running tests you can add a test database where you save dummy data and do tests all right